My name is Laura, and I'm a member of the Elmwood All-Stars 4-H Club. A 4-H project that I'll be exhibiting this year are mean goats. This is Rona, and she is a purebred boar goat. I feed her alfalfa hay and grain. Rona was born on December 26th of this year, which makes her 6 months old. Skills I have gained from raising livestock are how to care for my animals and what to feed goats so that they can be at their prime for when I show them. Thanks for listening about my goats. Next up on our tour is Silas. Hi, I'm Silas. This is one of my simpler woodworking projects, but it is a project that's very functional and an enjoyable game. I look forward to seeing your projects this year in the 4-H Fair. Hi, I'm Amy Marie, and this year for my project, I made a kill a few years ago that is spring colors, but I wanted to make a new one that's a twin size and instead of using spring colors I made it black. What I have learned about my project is that I need that I learned how to put a binding on and how to bind stick together. Now let's check in Rebecca and her cat project. Thank you Anne Marie. Hi my name is Rebecca Lundell. This is my cat, Crystal, she is a medium-haired calico, and she is five years old. She eats dry cat food and is 11 pounds. And I take her to the vet yearly. Next up is Chloe, and let's check out her sewing project. So I decided to do sewing because, one, I wanted to learn how to do it because it might be handy to stitch up a hole or something, and two, I wanted to spend some time with my grandma who taught me how to do it. So I have a shirt with inlaid sleeves and then a collar with just some buttons tied on and then I just have a skirt and it has an elastic waist. Now we'll go to Dairy Cows with Addison. Thanks Chloe. Hi, my name is Addison and uh, this is Deja Vu. She is a Holstein cow. She eats silage and she is five years old and she produces milk. And now let's see what Anna has been working on. Thanks, Addison. So here I have a 3D mixed media project where I created a beach scene using a flat rock that looks like sand, wooden dowels to create a beach chair and the frame of an umbrella. Then I used a cotton t-shirt for the top of the umbrella, the towels, and the stack towels. Our next project is a little sheepish. Let's see what Ashlyn has. Thanks, Anna. I'm Ashlyn and this is Betty. Betty is a one-year-old Hampshire sheep. She eats a craft corn ground mix. And the skill I've learned from doing this is I've learned how to fit and prepare them to be able to go to livestock shows. Now I'm spinning this over to Catherine. Hi, I'm Catherine Matter, and I'm the vice president of this year's Federation Club. This is my pottery project that I'm going to be showing in the 4-H virtual fair this year. It's a little bit different than other pottery projects that I've done in the past because they're not quite so functional. They're more for aesthetic purposes because they're bases. Next up is Carrie with her poultry project. Stay tuned for more fun projects. On to you, Kyle. Hi, my name is Kyle Stahl, and this year, welding is my 4-H project. So far, I've made a book or phone holder and a coat wrap. Um, today, we are arc welding, which is different from MIG welding. In fact, that you have an electrode that you weld with instead of wire. Um, let's move on over to Mason. Thanks, Kyle. Hi, I'm Mesa. This is Angela. She's a crossbred cow. She's five years old. She produces milk, and she eats hay and silage. Up next is Janessa. Hi, this is my entomology project. I've been collecting for about four years now. Um, in this case with me, I have about 60 bugs. Um, my goal is um, is to keep collecting for this 4-H year and years to come. Um, all of these bugs are in Illinois um, and my favorite is probably the walking stick and the um, tiger swallow tail. Um, yeah, I love doing this and I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, your turn Maggie. Thank you Jamaica. Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm from the Jubilee Patriots 4-H Club. Here I have my blue lace red Wyandotte. She is four months old, has a rose comb and red earlobes, which means she'll lay a brown egg. 
I like this bird because she has a she has brown feathers with white outline. I am excited to be doing the 4-H virtual fair this year. And next up is Orin. Thanks, Maggie. This is my project about shed hunting. What is shed hunting, you may ask? Well, every year deer drop their antlers. And when deer drop their antlers, they become sheds. And every year, me and my dad go shed hunting, and it's really fun. So my poster talks all about that and like what type of time of year to go shed hunting and what it's all about and how to find them. Got milk? Here's Cassie. Thanks, Lauren. Hi, I'm Cassie, and this is Jada. She is four years old, and she's a brown Swiss. They eat silage, and they get milk twice a day. Check out our next Picasso. Here's Michaela. Thank you, Cassie. Hi, my name is Michaela, and I'm part of the Jubilee Pictures Club. My visual arts project is painting on wood. I first used red, orange, yellow, green with acrylic paint and then blended it and then I splattered black and white acrylic paint on top. I like doing this because it's fun, you get a little messy, and who doesn't like getting messy? And at the end it turns out really good. Well, decently good. Um, I'm going to use this in my room. I put it up in my room and I hope, well, I can't wait to use this in the virtual fair. Now let's see what Sarah's about it. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a member of the Elmwood All-Stars 4-H Club. One of the projects I will be showing virtually this year is gardening. I start about eight different varieties of tomatoes and peppers in two indoor greenhouses in the middle of February. I also start squash, cucumbers, tomatillos, cabbage, and lettuce in an outdoor greenhouse in the middle of April. Here you can see I have zucchini and yellow summer squash. I also preserve produce like canning, drying, and freezing to save produce throughout the year. I also sell produce and plant starts at farmers markets as well. I can't wait to see what projects you will be doing this year, virtually. Let's see how creative Kate is with her visual arts project. Thanks Sarah, for my project I'm showing a visual arts chalk carbon and pigment. I'm showing this drawing that I did of a still life of an old metal teapot. For my project, I used charcoal on white drawing paper. I wanted to use charcoal because I wanted to get the areas of the contrast really dark up against the bright areas to give that shiny effect to the teapot. What I learned most in this project is how to make surfaces in a drawing look reflective. I also learned lots of patience. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed our project tour and we look forward to seeing your projects too.